Easter, we are gonna go to the store on Friday night at 10 o'clock at night because it's gonna be packed tomorrow. Obviously, we don't wanna go on Easter, probably won't have time. So we last minute decided to make like a big Easter dinner. Let's go to the store. Late night H-E-B stop for that Easter food. I didn't even grab a single thing. Um, I'm thinking Caesar salad, what are you thinking? Yeah, that's good. Oh, this one right here. That's actually my favorite salad. Oh, really? No. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, interesting. Screw <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a jump scare. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> okay, low battery gaming. Bruh. My car. Bring cash. No hot. Oh, no. Original. This one's like $1.50 cheaper, so Perfect. it should be gaming. This is actually just me trying to get you to do all the work. I know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was still surprisingly a little packed, but we got it done. Shout out to this car for the light. Uh, Tully's putting the car away, making sure she makes it safe. Now we're ready for Easter. Good morning, siblings. I'm going to be vlogging it this Easter weekend because I'm doing some fun stuff and I'm actually getting baptized on Sunday. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a Christian and I came to know Jesus personally one-on-one -on -one and have a relationship with him not too long ago, like less than a year ago. It was one year ago from last Easter, which I know Easter isn't always on the same Sunday of the year but anyway that i went to like a christian church for the first time and then i became christian soon after them so i decided to get baptized this easter and i just want to kind of vlog this whole weekend i'm so so excited and i'm gonna talk a little bit more about that on sunday but today is saturday and i just have some fun stuff to do today me and charlie are gonna go to her storage unit and put some stuff in there that was like sitting around in the house and then she wanted to go to the old navy that she used to work at and maybe get an easter dress because she wanted a new one. So that's the plan today. So we made it to the storage unit and we were just kind of going through it for fun and Charlie wanted to grab a couple of clothes and like some swimsuits because she didn't have a swimsuit at the house. And then we also grabbed some fun board games because she has like this whole box of board games and card games and stuff that we wanted to take back to our apartment to play them. And then we we're just kind of reorganizing and throwing in all that stuff that we brought from the apartment. How's going through your storage unit? Very interesting, <laughs> very dusty. Yes, grabbing some clothes. Potentially. Very wow, this is very dusty. 16. There, now we can hopefully see this when we come back. So we just drove past the first place we ever like did something alone after I moved in. And we're thinking, we're like, honestly, we didn't even know each other. Like that was so like weird and just random. Like I just moved in and then we're like, we need to go do a photo shoot. Like the first thing yeah. I do together, I'm like, I need to vlog and do a photo shoot. And yeah. you're like, let's go. I was like, okay, okay for it. Anyway, nails done. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got. We got our nails done. Yeah. And then we went and took pictures. And you took like such good pictures that day too. Like they were fire. <laughs> Those are some of my favorite pictures for a while. And our best. That's yeah. so weird because it hasn't even been a year. It hasn't even been a year. Okay, so we weren't gonna get more caffeine because I have to be at church at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow, so I have to go to sleep really tight, but it is only two, so I just got a tall and we got Starbucks. <laughs> this won't be that much more caffeine than the Red Bull I had today. I'm putting my shoes back on. I literally just tried on half the store. We're at Old Navy because Charlie used to work here. She only picked out like two things and we came here for her. I picked out like a million because they're having 50% off all of their active wear. And we go to the gym all the time, so I needed more anyway. And I had to try on everything because everything's different materials. I guess if it size fits and all that. So I think I'm going to get four things. We just got done at Old Navy and we're going to do a haul. Okay, so I wanted an Easter dress and they have 50% off and I love Old Navy. I used to work there. And so I got this dress and I think it's super cute, but it is a size too big. I got it just in case and tomorrow's Easter, so needed it and then i told sydney i want to get some more cute just band tees to start wearing with just like jeans or like wear under a, i don't know a sweater or whatever love it and then on my way out the door i had already paid and i was like looking at the racks by the door because like i kind of mm -hmm. know that hack because i used to work at old navy and i saw this dress 
I think that's it's super so cute. cute. I really hope it fits nice because it's so yeah, cute. Yeah, I didn't even try it on. I just decided right then and there. And it's a red tag, so you are ready to go. It was $6. But this one is not my size either. It's the size under me. But we've been working out. But we've been working out. So. It could be a nice gold dress. <laughs> it yeah. could even fit. Yeah. We don't know yet. And it is flowy and stretchy, so. Yes, and this was more what I was going for. Like, mm. I wanted sleeves, and I wanted something along this length. I'm not 100% sure about the bandana, but really? I, I think, like yeah, I still like it, but I have a dress that's like bandana mm. already. Okay, I think it's cute. Super cute. All right, so my haul. First, I got these joggers. I love working out in these kind of dry fit material joggers and they have zip pockets. I just really like these and they're really thin and nice for summer. I could wear them just out and about. Then I always tell myself I need to buy some colored leggings that aren't fleece lined because the two I have are fleece lined. <laughs> so I got some and I love this color. So very excited. And all of this is 50% off. And then this shirt was only like $10 so I just had to go for it because I love these kind of shirts. And then I got two tank tops. I got this. Love, love. And then this one has like a built-in sports bra and I tried on it, fits like perfect. I even jumped around in it, make sure we're good, nothing's gonna fall out, and it was great. So I got five things. And the dressing room I said four, but I don't know how to count. Oh, I forgot, because I love these kind of earrings. <laughs> this for like my conch piercing. So I've been home for a while and this is one of the little outfits that I got, so cute. Ignore my mess. But we were just playing Catan and like making dinner and getting everything ready and the house clean for tomorrow because two of our friends are going to be coming over. Um, I just switched out all my earrings and I restabbed this hole, which was quite a struggle. So now we have this and this. I'm literally obsessed with this ear. So these are TJ Maxx. The taller ones are Old Navy. And then this was from my cousin Ellie, shout out. This is where I got my ear pierced. I don't know where those are from. This one is Old Navy, Fuji Max Old Navy, and the middle is from Sally's. These little gold hoops that I always have are from Sally's. So I'm just gonna kind of wind down because I will be waking up at probably like 5.30 in the morning. I have to be at church at 6.30. My baptism is at 7 a.m. It's supposed to be like a sunrise baptism. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna kind of set out everything I need tonight and I just wanted to sit down and kind of record my thoughts the night before. So I need black shorts. I'm literally gonna look so weird going there because I'm just gonna wear these black shorts and a t-shirt and some sandals because they're gonna give me a t-shirt to get baptized in and then I'll change into my cute Easter dress and my boots. So I'm gonna look weird getting there, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna wear a swimsuit underneath it. Okay, I'll probably just wear this because these bottoms were probably the least awkward underneath my shorts. Okay, and then I was just trying on my Easter dress again. Love it. So yeah, I'm getting baptized in the morning. I'm super excited to do this. I've been putting it off, don't know why. But basically in the Bible, Jesus asks us to get baptized. It's the first thing we're supposed to do as believers. You know, you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and then you get baptized. Um, I was baptized whenever I was eight years old, but it was in a different religion and when I look back like I didn't have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God back then I didn't really know what I was doing I was just eight and my parents were like all right you're eight you get baptized because that's just how it worked and so now that I'm older this is the first time in my life that I personally have chosen just me and God alone to accept him into my life to accept Jesus for who he is the next step is for me to get baptized and it's a way to show other people my commitment to Jesus that I have accepted him that this is the path that I'm going in my life and and to follow Jesus command. Um, I do not believe that getting baptized saves you. I don't believe the actual act of baptism saves you. I believe that the inner baptism, aka coming to faith and giving your life to Jesus is what saves you, not the actual physical act of baptism. That's just like a way to represent what you've already done in your heart. It's what you do in your heart that saves you, not the actual action. So I just wanna put out there what my beliefs are on this. And yeah, so I'm super excited. morning. It is 6.04 a.m. I'm about to leave to go to church. I'm so excited. Uh, I cannot believe it is already my baptism day. I've been waiting literally for so long. And it's Easter. What an amazing day. Like, I'm really so excited. I'm not going to do much vlogging. I'm not bringing my camera or anything to church. I'll vlog after and how I feel and I'll have a video of it. So...
Sydney and I had a chance to talk a while ago and hear this a part of this incredible story. Sydney was raised in a Mormon household and when we got to what 19 or 20, mm -hmm. realized that it didn't all add up and she recognized there had to be more and it was a friend who shared the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ with her, that the Lord Jesus had died for her sins and that she could be certain of her salvation, not because of your works, but because of what the Lord had done. And I just love that on this Easter Sunday morning, I get to be a part of this, Sydney. Thank you for that privilege. I want to ask you the same question. Have you trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Absolutely. <laughs> because of your profession of faith, I baptize you, my sister in Christ, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Woo! I'm really excited. I'm happy that I finally got baptized and it was fun. It was good. And then church was really good. Always love a good Easter service and all my friends from church sat by me. That video of me getting baptized, like for some reason when all the attention is on me, I just lose all my social skills. I was like nervous because so many people were there and I didn't even know half the people. And like, what was I doing? The first thing I do was just stand immediately up and I'm like, like, where was I going? <laughs> what was I doing? I don't know. I felt really awkward because all the attention was on me, which normally I love being the center of attention, but it's like in certain situations, I'm just like, this is awkward. And I don't know how to act. I don't know how to be a normal person. So now for the rest of my life, the video of my baptism is the most awkward video of me that I've ever seen. But that's not what it's about. So who cares? <laughs> Charlie's making double eggs and Ghost just got there with the casing. Look at Everyone has to come eat it in the taste test section. We're gonna be taste testing the double eggs. Ready? Oh, mm. cheers. <laughs> Good one. It's a little bit more sour than I hoped. Maybe a little bit too much mustard. Do you have mustard? You hate them. Mm -mm. I finally swallowed it. I don't hate them. I just wish there was like half as much stuff and I just shoved it all in my mouth and the mm. texture was really weird. But if I were to like scoop it off, I could definitely eat them. No. Yes. No. I like this stuff. Why are you hiding? I'm eating. Eat on camera. I already did that. They are a little sour though. I like them on scale. The best devil eggs you've ever had to worst. I've got some really good ones. I've had some really amazing ones. So I'm going to say controversial. Fire. No, I was gonna say the same thing. I think I've done better whenever I make them my like I've made them better myself. Mm -hmm. So still good though. This is only the second time I've ever actually eaten any, so <laughs> I think they're pretty good. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this she is my gets last it. roll. Oh, SMH. Hey, that's so good. Yeah, right, here we are again. Oh, oh, look at how close it was. If we don't get one of these Yahtzee. If this isn't a one, I have to write a zero. Well, I would write my three of a kind and get like no points. Not re roll, it was off the thing. <laughs> Bruh. I feel like we're gonna bust it out on the first Yeah, that's sound. what I'm saying. Right here. No. Okay. <laughs> Close. This is two, three, four. Bruh, you really just gotta work straight. Must be nice. Alright, this is it right here. Yeah. Two. Oh, okay, one more, one more. Alright, here we go. <gasps> oh! No! I thought it was gonna be a one. Oh, we're gonna do it again. Oh, it's always one off. It's so, like, if we get it on recording, it's so fun. I know, like, it is. Yeah. It is. And then we just, yeah. We're bound to get it at some point tonight. I know. Four? Oh. And even then, that's a good three of a kind. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> okay, here we go. Oh, let's go. Yes. Yes. Alright, we're going to get another Yahtzee. We're going to do the back to back Yahtzee. Okay, well, I got one. Okay. <laughs> Off with nothing. And we're going to go for the sixes slash Yahtzee. Okay, all right. Now we're just gonna whip out three right here.
glad we recorded. Oh, uh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Yachty. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am going to start making the mashed potatoes. Alright, we've got queso, we're making mushrooms. I'm about to start the steaks. I have them getting seasoned up. Oh, I should probably move this so the dog can't get it. Got some rolls. I put Texas Roadhouse butter on it. And then in here, I have mashed potatoes. Easter ended up being really good. Um, you know, some friends came over, made steak dinners. I pretty much made almost all of the food. I only made the deviled eggs and the queso, and then I kind of made everything else, and I'm kind of proud of myself. I don't know when this happened, but I like know how to cook now. Like I can just like make food. I don't know when that happened, but I can do it now. And then we actually ended up watching the movie Book of Eli, and it's a banger so far because I fell asleep about 20 minutes into it because I had woken up at 5.30 in the morning and had taken a nap. I tried to take a nap and it didn't work out. And so I'm gonna finish that today. But anyway, that was my Easter. It's crazy how much my life has transformed my relationship with Jesus. And I don't even know how to explain. It's just crazy. Like I've spent now a whole year just like trying to get to know God because the first time I really was like, okay, I am gonna pursue God with everything I have was literally Easter 2021. But I remember that Easter, I went home from like my first time going to just like a non-denominational Christian church. And I went to a park, was praying. I was listening to worship music for like one of the first times in my life. Literally started bawling my eyes out. Like, and that was kind of when I was like, I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna get to know God and I'm gonna give my life to Jesus. Like, I don't know how this works, but I'm gonna do it. And I basically spent this last year just trying to grow my relationship with Jesus. It's a lifelong journey. I'm forever going to be learning new things and stuff like that. So I'm excited to spend another year with God every day. I guess I'll just end this video with one of my favorite quotes that I heard someone say one time and it's, my worst day with Jesus is better than my best day without him. And that has never been more true in my life than it is now. So yeah, there's a little bit of my faith journey. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!